What's up, I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time it's just going to be a very brief update. I wanted to touch up on a previous video where I was talking about these teaser images that seem to show the Legacy Dead End and the Point Blank figure in their alt mode, as well as the Peacemaker or whatever name they're going to call it, because I'm pretty sure they have to retitle it because Peacemaker, that's already a DC show going on right now. So, you know, there's that. But uh, anyways... Basically, Blanker's Target Master will be touching up here because we actually have full-on images that give us a good look at what the figures are going to look like. So, obviously, I'm not going to touch up on the robot modes because we've already seen that. Starting off with the alt mode, it looks like Dead End. You know, he's got that Porsche style. I definitely do like the round headlights. That's something inherent to the Porsche design. And I love the yellow stripe on top with the silver down the middle. I think the front does look pretty good. And yes, you can attach the two guns on the back. I don't believe they're the same ones that come with drag strip. They're a little more harpoon in it shaped. But, uh, you know, that's pretty cool. And then we also had a look at the combined mode where he transforms into the arm or just slaps onto the arm. And, you know, that looks fine. You know, it's dead end. It's parts of a car slapped onto an arm. Not really much to talk about there. And then moving on to Point Blank where we've got a good image of the alt mode. I gotta say that I'm liking this a little bit more. When we saw the initial images, it just looked kind of distorted and distracted like every, everything didn't really seem to line up properly but here I kind of get what they're going for it's not the best looking alt mode but I kind of like how the sides kind of stick out I do like how boxy the windscreen is and how that will expand on the front there you can see the little hinge right there and I don't even mind the legs being slapped onto the back I don't even mind the spoiler fins right there I, I think that actually looks fine and then you will notice that the crunch area will transform into some sort of engine or it will just have engine detail so there's that. Honestly, it's weird, but I'm okay with it now. And then we take a look at the robot image, and we could also see that Peacemaker is thrown in. Uh, again, don't know if that's going to be the official name, but it is the Target Master that comes with him. Now, some people are disappointed that it's not exactly like the original Battle Master figures that have been seen throughout Siege and you know, the War for Cybertron trilogy, and to that I say I kind of get that, but at the same time, I'm actually okay with that, because this feels much closer to that of the original Target Masters. Now, yeah, he doesn't have a lot of articulation to him, in fact, he barely has any, but the way he transforms and the design seems to evoke a lot of the other weapons that come with a lot of the other Transformers, so I think that's the reason why he's just very simple. And again, I don't necessarily mind that. Honestly, I'm kind of hoping that this is going to kickstart the mini cons because I'd like to see those in the future. Uh, we did get a look at the alt mode for him, so obviously he transforms into a gun. Although it looks less like a gun and more like a futuristic jet just without the wings. It kind of reminds me of Armada Laserbeak if it got a legacy figure. So, uh... With that out of the way, what do you guys think? Has this changed your opinion on both figures? Let me know in the comment section down below. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun dudettes. And I will see you guys next time. All Spark TV. Now that's just Prime.